guys this video. I know it's been a while. Um, I honestly think I'm vitamin deficient because your girl is always tired. I'm a mom of a one-year-old now, so I'll give him that. He is in his toddler phase, but I am working and I am still trying to be a mom and also trying to film content. It's just really hard. But bear with me as I try and film content. I have this room finished. The living room is pretty much done and our bedroom is done. The next video will be my bedroom. If you guys haven't seen the issues that we had moving into this apartment, be sure to check this video up right here, okay? It'll fill you in on what's been happening since we moved here. It hasn't been the greatest, but we're in a much better spot now. So this is my son's room. We finished it a couple months ago. The ceiling fell down, so we had to put everything back together. Yeah, let, let's take a look, come on in. Okay, so let's start over here with the actual color of his room. I went with a lime wash paint. I'll be sure to link the company down below. They were not very cheap, I will tell you that. So the color we actually decided to go with is called Celadon. It is somewhat of a dusty, like gray blue. I don't know if it's translating well on camera, but it is a true like dusty blue. The paint is a little tricky to work with, but I do love the texture. I do love the movement. It does give me a little bit of like a velvety finish. I toyed with the idea of doing an accent wall or just going full force and doing the entire room. And I really love that we went with that decision. I feel like it just kind of tied the whole space in together. Let's start over here by the dresser area. So I will be sure to link as much as I can down in the description box below. Hopefully things haven't gone out of sale. It has been a while since we purchased some of these things, but we'll start with his dresser. We actually got this from Target. I believe they sell it on Amazon as well. So I'll try and link it in both places. Up here, we keep our diapers and wipes. And then down here, we keep some towels. And then the bottom shelf is pretty much empty because he does have quite a bit of storage in here. Now that my son is walking around, there's a lot of things that I'm starting to baby proof. This dresser was one of the first things that we bought for the room because we wanted to make sure this was not going to be a climbing hazard. You can't open multiple drawers at the same time, which is good so they can't climb it like stairs. And it also has these anti-tilt feet on the front of it. We're still gonna probably anchor it to the wall just for an extra level of security, but I love that it already comes with the safety features kind of built into the drawer already. This is also his changing pad. We still use it to this day. I love it because it is a scale, so I am able to keep up with his weight. If that's something that you think would drive you crazy or you'd be a little bit obsessive over, I don't recommend it. So above his dresser, we keep a picture of him. I'm not really big on putting up family photos in a home, but I really love this photo. I took it when he was first born in the hospital. I feel like it's a little bit more artistic, a little bit more uh, chic, I guess. So yeah, that's him covering his face. It just kind of went with the room really well. We have his little decorated cubbies over here. We used to have an extra star, <laughs> but it's been chewed up by my dog. Also over here, we have his diaper pail. If you guys watch our one bedroom nursery, this is from that. It's the same diaper pail. It's Ubi. It's hands down one of the best diaper pails I think is on the market. I've had a lot of pregnant friends and a lot of them own this. So take my word for it. If you want something that's not gonna stink up the room, unless you open it, <laughs> once you open it, it's a different story. Over here, I have a lamp we got from Target. I wanted to add a little bit more texture, some wood aspects and some woven aspects. So I have this side table I got from, I think I got it from HomeSense. <laughs> The rocking chair I actually got from Amazon. It was a bit of a project because the legs <laughs> came bright orange, stained in bright orange. So I had to sand them down by hand and that was a project. They let me keep, uh, they partially refunded me for the effort and work that I had to put into it. But I think it turned out decent for his space. I have a little moon over here that I got from Hobby Lobby. If you haven't guessed, his room is the stars in the moon. It's pretty much a sky theme. The curtains are from Amazon. And as we go through the rest of the apartment, you'll notice that all of the curtains are from Amazon. I love this pleated look that it comes with and it's just very sheer. Uh, unfortunately, they are not custom, so they are slightly kissing the floor a little bit more than I would like them to be, but I think they're still okay. I'm not gonna hem them. It's a kid's room but I'll definitely link these. I think they elevate a lot of the spaces that we have in our apartment. These are his bookshelves. They're from Amazon. They could be a climbing hazard, but right now we are in here with him, so we're watching him, but it's easy for him to access the books, which is something that I really wanted for him. He does come over here and pull books off the shelf, so 
That's a plus. So this is his little play table. It is made from wood. I got it from our baby shower. This is his same wardrobe that we had in our one bedroom nursery. We just shifted it in here. It does light up. It is supposed to be motion sensor. If you wanna know a little bit more about what's in here, it hasn't really changed much, just the clothes sizes, but definitely be sure to check out my one bedroom nursery tour. I went through everything in here. And like I said, a lot of it hasn't changed except for the sizing. So over here, we have his bed set up. If you can see in the corner over there, that's his laundry basket that we got from, it was either Crate and Barrel or CB2. Definitely think it was Crate and Barrel. I have seen it, I think, still linked. Again, that's something that came from our one bedroom nursery. So I'll be sure to link that if I can find it. It was a bit pricey for a laundry basket, but you know, it fits the vibes and my son deserves the best. So this is his crib. You guys have probably also seen this in the one bedroom nursery. It just expanded. So if you guys watched that last video, I said that it goes from a bassinet to a full size crib to a toddler bed. So right now we are in the middle stages and he's in a crib. He is a toddler now. So eventually we will be switching this out to be a bed and I'm not ready for that moment just yet, but I'm glad that I have the ability to do that when the time comes. Also above his bed, I made this little feature, wall feature. I have a Glowforge Aura. I've mentioned it on the channel before. I haven't quite made a video about how I use it, but I pretty much made his sign, his name, using the Glowforge Aura and I attached it to the wall. So again, it's the moon and the stars and the clouds, similar to his mobile here. I absolutely love it, so. It's lightweight, so it's not gonna, if it ever fell, it's not going to hurt him, which is a good thing. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about the Glowforge, let me know. If it's something that's really of interest to people, I will make a video. If not, you know what it is. So over here, we have his little play area. This is his toy chest. All right, so I know you guys are seeing a lot of beige, a lot of blue, a lot of whites and creams, but I promise you, my son does have color, okay? These are all his toys. They are very colorful and he does play with them every single day, okay? So they're not, they're hidden for the video, but in reality, he plays with these every single day. So we keep some blankets up here, some of his toys. Um, we keep the heavier toys down here because we don't want anything to fall on him just yet. He's still in his trying to find his balance stage. Yeah, so we kind of just decorated the top. Over there is his formula dispenser, which we are packing up, <laughs> essentially. He's off formula, thank God, because that stuff is not cheap. But yeah, we're gonna be taking that off. We just needed a place to put it because we didn't have room in the kitchen. But then you have some of his other toys. I made his little name puzzle over here. The M is falling apart, but it's okay. I'm gonna glue it back together. I know some people will wonder why this photo is so low and not centric with the wall. Well, there is an electrical panel behind here. So I did not want that to interfere with the aesthetic of his room. So we covered it. And I think it worked out. He also has this little walker down here that he uses. He's a pretty good walker now, so it's just really for play. Up here is a light fixture that I added into his room. Again, with that wood element, got this from Amazon. Back here is one of my favorite areas, and I think it's one of my son's favorite areas as well. Like I said, I wasn't too big of a fan of family photos, but again, these are a couple more photos stacked on top of each other that are of my son the day he was born. So I added that because I feel like this wall needed a little something. This is his swing. This is one of my favorite areas. I think it's one of his favorite areas as well. So we got this swing from Etsy, so I'll be sure to link the seller down below. I think it's very high quality and like I said, he loves it. It is attached to a stud in the ceiling. So don't be afraid to add holes in your walls as long as you take the responsibility and fill those holes. So once we leave, we will be patching those and it will be fine because believe it or not, there are a couple holes in this ceiling because we had a hard time finding the beam. 
but you can't see them. So there's that. This is a little play area. Anytime we need him to calm down, this is the best place to put him. So in addition to his swing, we also have this wagon. I actually bought it specifically to possibly return it. I did his six month photo shoot in this wagon. I'll show some pictures on the screen. I thought it was super cute and then I fell in love with it and we kept it. We also have a little cloud area over here. It's not really uh, organized anymore. He's one years old, so I do have to kind of reorganize and reframe this. This is his closet. We're not gonna show you guys that because it is a hot mess. And that's his bathroom. I actually didn't do anything with the bathroom, but if you guys wanna see what it looks like, be sure to check out our apartment tour. I did a full tour walkthrough of this entire place. So you guys will see what his bathroom looks like right now. Again, it's not really aesthetically pleasing. So typically also in this room, we keep what I would like to call like his little baby jail. It is a wooden baby gate with a uh, rubber mat that matches the rest of his room. I obviously took it out so that I can move around a little bit to show you guys the space, but I'll insert a few clips of what it actually looks like when it's in here. It is a bit tight, but it keeps him nice and contained. It matches the aesthetic, okay? And that's where all of his colorful toys go when he's playing in the room. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. I hope it was up to your satisfaction. I know it's been a long time. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to put Moon down in the comments, okay? Let me know that you watched it all the way through to the end and also give this video a like. But yeah, thank you guys. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.